everybody. Welcome to another Open Mic Podcast. I am so excited. This is our part two of the one and only Taylor Swift, and now we can say the one and only Travis Kelsey, and how their relationship is going. Now, I always say this in the beginning, in case this is the first time you've ever seen us, um, open mic means absolutely nothing is off the table. We just say whatever we want, and we just see where we land. So, welcome back, Stephanie. Thanks for having me. Um, we don't have our other blonde dash in Kristen Nemeth tonight, which is unfortunate. Which is unfortunate. She knows. She knows that she's keeping up. Yep. She's, she, she's a pop culture queen, and she's also given us some info, right? That's today? exactly okay. it. She um, went ahead and asked me specifically. No, no offense. No, please. Um, if I had a barometer of like one to ten on how Travis is doing. With his douchebaggery, yeah, what would I give him for a score? Ooh, great question. It is uh, a good question because I think he's doing a lot of good things, like cute things, yeah. like setting up dinners and being like the man and opening the car door, serenading her at the bar after the Super Bowl. Yes, yeah. yes, but, which I think minimizes the douchebaggery, <laughs> right? Well, so I'm thinking like. It, it can't just disappear overnight, right? Of course. He's working at it. Right. So where he's sli I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him a seven. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. All because right. I think he's working at it, but his behavior at the parade not great. It's not great. Yeah. It's not a great look. I don't I didn't like when he yelled at Andy Reid or got in his face aggressive, like I use that as an example with my 12-year-old son. I was like, mm -mm, mm -mm. And that's the thing. When we did our first podcast, yeah. it was January 10th. So we hadn't done the Super Bowl yet. Ooh. So there's a lot of ground that has taken place. It's a lot. Right? So, yes, he yelled at the coach, and that was... I mean, aggressive, physical, yelled yes, at the coach. Yes, And people either went one or two ways, I felt like. It was either like, oh, he's just intense, mm -hmm. and he was in the moment, or they're like, unacceptable. Like absolutely not. Even his own brother right. said that was that was crossing right. the line. That's another thing we have to cover. His retirement speech, <laughs> waterworks. Waterworks. Yeah. Uh, you know the thing is, if if tra if Travis's brother is is so awesome, he's got to. Oh, we, Travis has got to have a little awesomeness in, in him, there. right? I it's know. in there. We it's just got to pull it out. Yep. So I agree. yes, that was that was crossing the line. Then. Um, singing Viva Las Vegas. I oh, could have done without. Oh. I could have done without. Because someone joked about the fact that she kind of got an ick oh. look. Oh, my gosh. Like, Well, there's a million cameras on her at any point. <laughs> and he's like, bruh, bruh, like, and she was just like, oh, second guessing these decisions. Okay, so, uh, which brings us to our next question. Although, did you want to give a, 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 a number on your... Yeah, so I don't know if I'd go that high. I, I've, I've, okay. So I will tell you, oh, when douchebaggery came up, I was like, oh, I saw that little snippet of the golf outing mm -hmm. where he had hit the ball. Mm -hmm. He had, you know, driven the ball and then did a little obnoxious dance. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I think Julie's dead on on that one. But he's been doing so many things, and I've, I, I watched, I listened to the podcast, and he says so many sweet things that I... I don't know. I'd go five. Okay. I'd go okay. Five. So you're gonna. Okay. I see what yep. you're doing. But I'm also totally invested now. You've got me like consumed, <laughs> and I don't know if that's something like this that I should be I proud of or not. This I know. Is what I do to people. Like I'm embarrassed to say it, but I need to. Oh yeah. Uh, Travis is that's, my wallpaper. It's your wallpaper on the phone. That's... Because I was at Rotary talking to oh. <laughs> the branch manager from Eastern Bank, who we both love, fellow love Rotarian, and she's from Brazil, and she's always spectacularly dressed. And she said, I don't see it, Steph. I don't see it. He's not <laughs> handsome. And we just went off on this thing. I was like, we were like, what? 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 He's 6'5". He's 6'5". Six six he's he got a fabulous time. body. He's got a fabulous smile. He's super successful. He's... Ah, he checks all these boxes, and she was like, eh. So I made it my wallpaper, and now I kept it, and now when people see it, they're like, oh, big Travis fan. Okay. Like, okay. Um, okay, so it brings me to my next. So pe people really loved our podcast. People were, like, really um, invested. It's working. Like, we're, 
we're like, I'm like a fungus. I'm just getting everybody into this with me. I love it. Because um, I can't talk about it at home or very minimally. Oh, you know, right. Yeah. Men. I'm living Have we ad admitted that you're no longer just swift curious? I am a swift. Okay. All right. It's good. there. Is it, is it freeing, you know, <laughs> to get there and be well, open? When I, when I follow, like, her flight plan, I think you've moved into a higher level. I'm like a platinum member, yeah. or the, the, they're looking at me. Right, I said, the deep dive <laughs> in our last podcast, I was like, you Yikes. might be flagged on a lot of things here. And you were like, oh, I'm swift curious. I was like, no, you are full on yeah, swift. You're like right over yeah. there. Um, okay, so Paul from Danvers asked us, what do you think um, are currently the red flags oh. for their relationship? Oof. Um, I, I don't know if you heard this, but they... Meanwhile, thanks, Paul, from Danvers. Love yeah, the fact I that know. we're getting it, right? reach outside of Melrose. It's uh, outside of Melrose. Yeah, we get somebody from Malden coming Love up after it. that. Um, so anyway, so, okay, as far as red flags are concerned, and I don't know if you saw this or read this, but apparently, and I hope it's wrong, but apparently uh, Taylor Swift has some rules. Oh, no strip clubs? No strip clubs. Uh -huh. No pictures with other women. Now, that's ridiculous. That one's aggressive. The no strip clubs, ah, I don't know. That's a tricky one. It is a tricky one. Here's my feeling. Most, I'm just going to say men, most mm -hmm. men have been to a strip club by right. the age of 34. Correct. Right? Right. Lots of times, it's just stupid. It's a bachelor party. It's right. dumb. It's somebody's Most people birthday. don't even want to go. Right. It's just kind of a they thing. They get there, and they're like, yeah. uncomfortable. Exactly. They don't even know what to do. Yeah. Now, there's a whole different strain mm -hmm. of men who like to go and even go by themselves. Correct. So, which I'm not sure. Could be a whole nother podcast. <laughs> you know, they call the front row perv row. Oh, yeah, God. Those well, are the yeah. singletons. There yeah, we yeah, go. Yeah. 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 And, um, and there is a story of Travis as a young boy taking his brother's car up to Vancouver or something. Okay. And like left the car and was at a strip club and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. Again, he's in his 20s. Right. I'm going to forgive him. Yep. Okay. So, the other rule is oh, the no girl, which I think is just dumb. There's no way. Especially where people he's are going to take a, a picture with him because they're of Swifties her. and they want. To, yeah, I know. I, I don't think that's realistic. That's, yeah. So that and the last one was um, if she's going to talk to him, it's got to be like like FaceTime. And I don't oh. know if that is like oh, oh. who's behind you? Ugh. Like are you? <laughs> yeah. See, I thought we were talking about red flags for her with the aggressive behavior with Andy Reid. You mean red flags for him I'm, with her laying down the law. I think Paul from Danvers is wondering on each side. Okay. So, All right. So this, that to the me. The FaceTime thing is a real thing? I, I get. Oh. Well, what's funny is I mentioned it to my sister Sheila. Now, she lives way up in Maine, okay. and we went out. She was down here in Mars, and I said something about these rules, and I hope it's not true because it makes her sound so like insecure oh, no. and uh, you know and she goes yeah i heard that too and i'm thinking how how could she have heard how that? did you hear that yeah <laughs> I, I, the middle of up nowhere there. up there <laughs> <laughs> i don't know that one's weird to me i personally and maybe it's just because i'm turning 50 and i like facetime to me oh. is is terrible if my kids call and facetime i'm always like oh and i'm like Oh, I don't well, know. The you know, it's never the good. angle's good. You're supposed to hold it I, somewhere. I know. I know. And, and then you have an arm ache. Yeah. Because you're like, can right? we wrap this and up? And I'm like, can we go old school and just yeah, chit chat? Just, just like, chit chat what? on. on, on uh, I don't think I'd like that. On your life. No. So I just, that disappointed me. Again, I don't know if it's true, but it's like, I want, I want to believe all the goodness in her. I know. And it, this, is, it, it, this is not an easy thing for them to navigate. I know. It's, it's not. And I, I heard, uh, I don't know if it was in one of their podcasts, the brothers, but he said something pretty authentic, like just that they both are in line with their love of family, their love of friends, and they have some real like grounding things that yes. connect them, which I was like, okay, real. Yeah. I like yes. this. Yeah. Because ha, ha, two famous people, I mean, they're at what? They were in Australia at the zoo and there were helicopters flying over the zoo. Like they... They don't ever get time. I know, I know. And and the thing is, out of all the people she's dated, I think he's the strongest. Yes. He can handle it. I think so, he's, too. He's a, he's a tough, he's right. tough. Right, right. If we go back through all the, you know, they're all like, 
they were in her shadow. I think he's like, let's go. He's yeah. Um, he okay. He has been quoted as saying he doesn't like to be called Taylor Swift's boyfriend. He would prefer life partner. Now I oh okay. Thank you, Jules. <laughs> Jules. May, right, write that down because I need to look that up because that's bizarro. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, I'll send you. Uh, Isn't that like? Aren't they thirty four? Okay, this that's is something the, like you say when you're. No, I don't know. It, I don't it, like it. Here's the thing. If they're going to get engaged, which I've heard too, yeah, just do it. Right. Or don't say anything and let us be surprised. They right. don't realize we we need this. Right. Like in the world. But we didn't need you this. call it? In podcast version one yes. or whatever, you were like, oh, no, it's it's a December engagement around her birthday. Something um, like that, didn't you? Or yeah. was that the wedding? No, no, no. I said the I said they would get married in December 2024. Um, because By the way, if that day. happens, right? This is all new to me, and I'm just happy to be along <laughs> for the ride. But if that happens, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. A lot of thinking. Right. A lot of thinking. A lot thinking. of thinking. Yeah. I know. Um, All right, you more questions. Yes. Now, let me just think about what we did Hydration, important. Um, so. Okay, we covered Super Bowl. We covered, oh, how about he does the Super Bowl and can't go to the Golden Globes. Yep. Because he was getting ready for the big yep. game. Yep. yep, Then will she make it? She makes it. Comes yes. back from Singapore, right? You had the flights tracked, which is <laughs> totally normal and not a red flag at all. Um, but she makes it back. She's there. She's on the field. Now, he immediately follows, right? And doesn't he go to Australia right after? And, I mean, it's well. it does seem real. It, it, okay. Here's the part that I'm happy about because where I'm a new Swifty, and I haven't. Um, so proud of you. Great job. Thank that you. That really flowed naturally. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I'm not as familiar with her music, blah, blah, blah. What I worried about was see, if you go to a football game, it's different every time. Yeah. So even though she's like going to her eighth, whatever, Kansas yeah. game, it's a different team and yeah. it's a different outcome different and all crowd, that. Different crowd, different everything. Now, I know she shakes up her concerts, but. I'm thinking, oh my God, three and a half hours? Like, I'm showing my age now. Three and a half hours, like one or two, I'm done. I'm yeah. good. I'm yeah. good. So the fact that he goes. And he's there. And he's, and he's bringing friends. He's bringing friends. He's got the bracelets. I know. So, and when they show the shots when he's with the dad, and they both love, I think it's in Karma. Karma is the guy <laughs> on the, the Chiefs. Chiefs. And then it goes bananas as if he didn't know it was going to happen. I don't know. I love I know. It. I know. And that's the thing. Like, I do think that, um, what's Matt? What's Matt's question? Matt from Malden. Matt from Malden. I, this um, feels like. Well, first of all, he said, I loved the podcast. I'm just as obsessed with uh, the two as you guys are. Oh. Well, you know, like hope. your level or my level? I would say those, your level. Okay. But yeah. but he's hoping they go the whole way. Oh. Yeah. So it wasn't really we a agree, question. Matt. It, was a, it was just a statement. We agree, Thank Matt. you, Matt. Um, we don't have to worry about Matt's cookies and Matt's searches. I don't we think, think so. That's, okay. I think right. we're good. Good. Um, but there was something else I wanted to bring up about this whole scenario. Um, yeah. So the the traveling. So they right now. They're believed to be in the Bahamas. Oh. Well, like, <laughs> I'm trying to decide if this makes me nervous or not. Um, do you notify TMZ? Is it, does that how it goes? It's getting there. Okay. If they're like, have you found anything? Because we're trying okay. to find. Um, so I think someone said that what would be really helpful for a new, fairly new relationship is a car ride. Like you learn a lot about each other in a car ride. road trip, like a road trip, like a. Oh, isn't that? I love that. Yeah, yeah. it was. Um, it was a podcast. It was uh, Heather James Gordon, Heather McDonald. <laughs> Do you Ooh. know her? She's a comedian. Mm -mm. She had. Um, she had one of her regular. Um, she has like a whole bunch of comedians. She just rotates, okay. and I can't remember. His That's name. a really good idea. I love that because I feel like that. I feel like everybody's rushing them. Yep. Um, I feel like it has tentacles of something real, but she's on a plane, he's on a plane. Yeah. Like, and then anytime they're in any kind of a setting, there's so many eyes and cameras and everything. If they were in a car, one-on-one, -on -one, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. who drives? I think you got to split it. Really? I think you got to split Don't, it. I feel like he'd be the gentleman and be like, Tay. Tay. <laughs> Tay. Tay, you got the map. <laughs> 
And by map, you know, old school map. But, yeah, yeah. you know, yes. and he drives. Well, yeah, because I think he loves that role. Yes. And I think he does very well with it. Right. You know, he's the bodyguard. He's the, yeah. you know, and I mean. Even though Rosalind doesn't think so. I mean, what, 6'5"? Yeah, yeah. Hey. Um, yeah. So I think, I think he just needs, this needs to bake. Right. Is what's happening. And so this is a good time for both of them, well, until May 9th. <laughs> the, They're in the back Bahamas on the May 9th. The May 9th. And, and where is she going? God. Um, oh, don't act like you don't know. <laughs> no, I really you can't think like of it. You have, like, the, the schedule on your fridge. <laughs> like, come on. I can't remember. I can't remember. Okay. Um, right. It's far away, though. I mean, it's another. But he, isn't he basically off? Yeah. You know, so he, he's probably just going to piggyback, like you said, three and a half hours. He knows. <clears throat> he knows the deal. Right. I don't know when they get called back. They must get called back in the summer, right? I think they do. Yeah, they go back for camp, but. Here's the things that I think about that I just think, again, crazy brain. Um, why, well, again, maybe I'm showing my age, but if I were them, mm -hmm. I would just enjoy that house in Missouri. It's got a pool. <laughs> <laughs> it's got, it's got a put, like a put, a putting green. It's got a bar. This is this is Trav's house. This is Trav's house. Oh, okay, yeah, got it. It's. Did they spend a lot of time there? Not enough, in my opinion. Okay. <laughs> I, Where is Kristen? Because Kristen and I would absolutely be like, at what point should we be concerned about our friend Julie? I think it's, you're like, why aren't they just at the house in Missouri? And if you even spit out the name of the street, I would literally, no, please don't, please don't. If you know it, don't, don't. I know it's a gated community. Oh, I know that. Um, Did Fran watch the first podcast? No. Okay, I, I would encourage you to um, discourage him <laughs> from watching this one. I'm, I'm pretty sure if you didn't watch the first one, this He's, follow up. Okay, this follow up. This follow -up yeah. Okay, it's not gonna be on his radar. Is, okay. Yeah, it's okay. not. All right. Um, so yeah, so they so this is going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. I um, have a question. Yes. Where do we stand on his clothing? Right. And I know that sounds so superficial, Double but Double thumbs down. Do you remember um when we were growing up Chess King? Yes. Right? Yes. Don't you think he is just a walking billboard He's for Mr. Chess King? Chess King. 100%. Matchy, and, she, match. and she is always like so stylish and not trying too hard. Right. And then he's got like these color block things and I don't know. I don't know either. And this is the other thing. I mean, she she help him. She, well, I mean, she's an industry, right? I mean, she's 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 got what? Hundreds and hundreds of people. Mm. You know that there's got to be some people going in her ear saying Mm. If this is if this is your choice, that's fine. But we're gonna have to. Right. We're gonna. We're gonna. He's not gonna go to strip one clubs. One of the one of the concerts in Australia, I think he had blue and teal. I know. It, I know the outfit. Matching shirt, yes. shorts, and I yes. was like, kind of looked I'm, like an octopus. Yeah. It looked like a green octopus on a teal. Right. Like granimals. Yeah. Matchy match. Like almost like lost a bet. Somebody <laughs> dared him. Like <laughs> wear this. You know. Like. And I thought to myself, imagine you're out there singing and you're like, yeah, that's my man. That's my in man. In the octopus. In the. Little granimals. Yeah. In the. So, I don't know. The, the clothes thing is. A, is it, it, but you know what it is, too? It's, it's his attitude with it. Yeah. Like, again, the word douchebaggery comes to mind. <laughs> because it's like, you, I mean, look at the brother. Okay. I mean, he is so awesome, oh. right? And, you know, he's, he doesn't care about fashion. I think it's fine that Travis likes fashion. He's a tall 100%, guy. 100%. Yep. He's got uh, uh, so many companies that are, like, sending him stuff yes. so they'll wear it. Um, but he doesn't, he's not, he's not, like, having fun with it. Mm. I feel like he's serious about it. Like, yeah. look at me and my Dolce Gabbana, da, 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 da. And it's like, it, that is not manly. Right. Yeah. Going into the Super Bowl, Patrick Mahomes is in a gorgeous, classy suit, tie, and Travis has on, like, 
something Cher would wear. It was like a, a black sequin jacket, pants, and you're like, what? 100%. Hey, and what they, are were you like, doing? they were like, they were like, so yeah, like MC Hammer pants yeah. or something <laughs> like, you know, like I'm just like, what are we doing? And and it's kind of like, how is that gonna work? You've got, she's a fashionista, oh. and as you said, top of the line, gorge, like um, gorgeous. She, taste. she knows how, she knows what she's doing. She knows how to dress herself. Um, I think she may be able to yeah, influence that. Yeah. Because I was thinking, Paul from Danvers, like when it comes to clothing, we're going Deep 10. into the red flag. We're going yeah. 10 yeah. douchebaggery. Yeah. Because yeah. that's oh. just like, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it either. I don't like when someone's um, Over you know, the like, top. Yeah, like, like there's, there's not, there doesn't seem to be enough humbleness in mm. I agree. And I think, you know, people that say, oh, well, he was so intense. It's like, yeah. Take a look at that intensity because that's his beloved coach. Right. And you may be the right. beloved wife. And I wanted him to come out after and be like, I went too far. I got caught up. Like, you know, I wanted him to acknowledge it because yeah. how many millions and millions of people are watching that? And how many, you know, you just worry. Like, you don't want a child to think that's okay. Exactly. That's exactly. not okay. And, the, and, and you just brought me to the point that I've been trying to remember that I wanted to talk about. When he was at the parade, mm -hmm. okay, he really overserved himself. So these are the these are some big, yeah. not loving it. Right. Okay. Again, you've got kids looking up to him. Totally. And here's my feeling: you're 34. You're a 34 year old man. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you're 24, 20, what? What? Yeah. You're a kid. Yes. Pass. Right. Big old pass. Nobody mm -hmm. cares. Everybody right. gets it. But at that stage in your life and then the singing and yeah. I, I can't imagine that and Taylor this was like new, that's my man right at this new platform right exactly. so you're like you have to make some adjustments now because you are in the public eye and right right all eyes are on you right so I just um that was disappointing and, and the other thing is it's like you know they they can't take things back right, right. there's it's it's no do-over yep and but it's but to your point you could have a funny, like, Fallon night or a Jimmy Kimmel yes. where he comes on and he goes, well, I acted like an idiot. Yeah. That Taylor didn't talk to me for two hours. Oh, like, that'd be so smart. Right? So it would smart. Just be such a and they good... could show it and they could mean and it be and like, stuff. Oh, and he'd I know, be and like, really, oh, it's... this is when I screamed in his face. Not a good look. Yeah, you know? or like even when he's singing, you go, God, it sounded so much better in my head. Right. That... Like maybe I didn't have to do the Viva Las Vegas thing. You know, like own it. Make yes. yourself yes. come across like genuine. Exactly. Have some fun with it. Right. Um, but then again, sometimes she's not always having fun. Sometimes I know. she gets a little serious. I know. But I, know. I can't even imagine what life must be like, you know? I mean, my anxiety couldn't handle it. Yeah, she's in the bar after they win the Super Bowl, and there's a million cameras. Can you, how do you even let, like, let yeah. your guard down? And yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. You know? Exactly. I mean, somebody grabs a bad picture of me and you, we're like, and, and what is it? <laughs> it's shown in Melrose, like, you know? But this is like, yeah. I, I feel like yeah. you must just be always, I don't know. Yeah. I don't even know what the right word is. I think it's a, a very interesting thing that they both, they both sort of were trained the same way in right. the sense that he was a great football player, she was a great artist, and then, so I think they both have a little arrested development. Yeah. Because what, what do they do? They look at their calendar and they go, oh, uh, he says, oh, I get on a bus. Mm -hmm. And then I go to this hotel. Great, robotic, and I, right? And I play football yep. and then mm -hmm. she's, I got to go to the stadium. Yep. So that's why I think they need that. The road trip. The road trip. They totally they do. They need the road trip. They need trip. to get in. They can do a little James Corden, like singing yep. and yep. like tinted windows. Nobody knows. Nobody just knows. Go. Just go. Just get to know each other. Exactly. Go from Missouri to L.A. or something. Missouri, the gated community that you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. We we need to talk really quick about yes. the um, Jason Kelsey retirement. Oh, because yes. Because this cracked me up when he said, I remember the night I met my wife. She walked through the door of the bar. Her, the, her face is, you know, etched, etched in my, in my retina. Oh, yeah, my retina. And... She, the next day, was like, yeah, so let's talk real about this. He was blackout drunk, passed out on the bar. Yeah. Like, she's like, I, that was nice for the, like, retirement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But <laughs> I just think, did she's they fantastic. not see, right? Yeah, because she's like, yeah, we met on Tinder. 
And then he was out drinking with his buddies all day. Yeah. And then said, meet me at this bar. Yeah. And so we got, by the time she got to the bar, 45 minutes in, yeah. he's out. Wasted. Gone. Wasted. But his version is, oh, hearts oh, in I his know, eyes. I know, like, I know. I just thought that was hysterical. Did you see her do the Irish step dance? Oh, my God, yes. Love. Now, if they can rub off a little bit Right? On, yes. Real. They're real. They've got three children. Um, he's in it to win it. Yep. He's a no-nonsense guy. Love it. Um, and I think, that, and I thought it, I thought that when I watched Catching Kelsey, I said, the one redeeming quality of this six hours on the get back. Th yeah, I didn't think you'd actually say that out loud again. I know, I know, but but it was it was the brotherly thing. It yeah. was the Jason. Oh, they've got something right special. Right there, like right there, like trying to help him. Like, well, she seems yeah. nice and blah blah. Um, or when he took a shirt off and he jumped out into the stands <laughs> at that one game, but then picked up a little girl so oh, she I know, could see he Taylor. Taylor. I know. You're like, I know. oh, I love him. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I don't know. I mean, this story just keeps going on and on. I, there I, could I, be a version I, three, version be. four. I there mean, could be. Well, we have until May 9th or 7th we or whatever. Have till, yes. <laughs> Let's see, right? They're in the Bahamas. I, of course, you know, as soon as this wraps, I'm going to be searching. Like, how does Julie know this stuff? Yeah. Yeah, and if he's planning these cute things, I love it. Just, Travis, if you find yourself watching this, <laughs> yes. what, no, Stephanie, please go. what fellow Blondashian and myself are recommending is a road trip, just the two of you in some sort of tinted car, nobody yep. will know. Less chess king. Less chess king, more emulating the relationship of your brother Jason and Kylie. Yep. And I think I think we've yep. done it. I You're think doing great with your douchebaggery going down. Yeah, it's coming down. And we're proud it of you. It was definitely there. Proud of you. We, but you had some moments. You yep. had some shaky moments. But yep. you know, we're gonna let it go. Right. But you know, there's goodness in there. We know yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know but you're it. 34, so if you're gonna overserve, do it in like Pat Mahomes' basement. Yeah. You or know? when Taylor's driving on the road trip. Or in their house in Missouri. <laughs> Gated community. Gated yeah. community. You I killed me. <laughs> I want to thank you so much thank for coming so on. Much we for always have me back. so much fun. It's, it's such a, a great topic. It brings up so many layers. And there's so much. There's so much. We didn't even. There's so much. There's so much. So thank you for watching. Good night. Good night.